name is Brian Villafranco from Mofferdai, Toledo. Um, I'm a third generation rice farmer. Being a third generation rice farmer um, in PG or Toledo has brought its challenges. You know, we all always say that Toledo is a forgotten district and I think that in the last few years that uh, the rice industry in Toledo has decreased. We are a little bit different than some of the farms in the other districts because we grow our own seed. Um, we try to keep our seed from year to year so that means that we have to spe pay special attention to, to the um, quality and you know what grains are going in the field right now. So normally we start pre uh, preparing our soil or tilling, cultivating in April, about the beginning of April, depends on the, the season. And then we would plant around the 15th of May. That's uh, roughly two weeks before the rain starts. So, you know, we're, that's a process that changes from year to year. Once we start planting, I try to plant almost non-stop because we plant 400 acres in roughly one week or something like that. Um, depends on the weather. And that, that would be 40,000 pounds of seed, um, 100 pounds per acre. That Normally we would harvest around a million pounds of, of grain from that 40,000 pounds of seed planted. So people that used to work in the tourism industry pre-pandemic are now coming back to their farming backgrounds, coming back home, and they're interested in getting seeds to plant for the upcoming crop. I, last year I did give some seeds out to milpa farmers to see if they can, you know, make a lee money or farm a lee piece of rice so that they could have some kind of sort of income that. Uh, I well, give out a big thank you to everybody that support the rice industry. I mean, everybody, I guess every family in Belize would support the rice industry at least one time a day. So, you know, when you eat rice, I hope this gives you a little perspective as to where it came from.